Air crash investigation, air disasters, mayday, however you call it around the world is a popular aviation series depicting crashes that happen throughout history. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad, but they all end with a learning lesson. And with 24 seasons since its initial run in the early 2000s up to now, we've seen countless episodes from the biggest and most well-known crashes to the lesser known accidents throughout history. and. I have my personal favorites and I'm pretty sure you may too. As tragic as these accidents are, they have a learning lesson that makes it better for the entire industry in the long term. And with that, throughout this history, I realized that there are some crashes that I know about that the series haven't touched upon. So I thought, you know what, let me bring light to some of them and hopefully maybe one day, one day, they'll bring it up in a future season. Starting with... On July 27, 2007, two helicopters from two separate television stations collided in midair over Phoenix, Arizona in the United States while covering a police pursuit. The collision was broadcasted live from both helicopters and the aftermath was covered by other news helicopters in the area. Tragically, four people lost their lives and the NTSB determined that the probable cause of the accident was both pilots' failure to see and avoid each other in the given area. Adding to the fact that both of them were trying to get the best vantage point, trying to cover the police pursuit. This incident thankfully had no fatalities, but this led to some major changes issued by the FAA. On October 28, 2006, Flight 1883 had mistakenly landed on a taxiway at Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey in the United States. The 757 was carrying a total of 154 passengers and crew. The NTSB in their report to the FAA asked to make changes in certain procedures both in the air and the ground to avoid repeat events. Now the story would have ended there if it wasn't for Air Canada Flight 759 which was an A320 which almost landed on a busy taxiway in San Francisco where four other aircrafts were lined ready to take off on July 7, 2017. A former United Airlines pilot said what happened probably came close to being the greatest aviation disaster in history. I'm noticing a rise in small accidents being covered in the series, so I'm surprised they haven't covered this one yet. On February 3rd, 1959, a Beechcraft Bonanza carrying rock and roll music star Buddy Holly, Richard Valens, and the big bopper JP Richardson crashed shortly after takeoff outside of Mason City, Iowa, again in the United States. A total of four occupants on board died when the pilot lost control and impacted at high speed into a cornfield. The probable cause pointed to pilot error. This event became known as the day the music died after singer-songwriter Don McLean referred to it as such in his 1971 song, American Pie. On September 10, 1976, in the skies near Zagreb, Croatia, a Hawker Sydney Trident operated by British Airways and a McDonnell Douglas DC-9 operated by NX Adria collided at 33,000 feet. All 176 people on board the two aircrafts died and it was, at the time, the worst mid-air collision in history. It still holds the record with being the deadliest air accident in Croatia and the investigation eventually led to air traffic control being solely responsible for the collision. This infamous flight saw Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, a Fairchild 227, crash in a remote part of the Andes mountain range in Argentina on the 13th of October 1972, carrying 45 passengers and crew, which include the old Christian Club Rugby Union team of Uruguay. The aftermath of the crash is often analyzed and showcased in many movies and TV shows and books as it describes the survival of the surviving passengers for 72 days on the mountain. But the initial crash is not looked at. 16 people survived the ordeal and the investigation determined that the crash was due to pilot error.
On November 14, 1970, Southern Airways Flight 932, a Douglas DC-9 carrying 75 passengers and crew, crashed into a hill while approaching Tri-State Airport near Hudgington, West Virginia. The flight was carrying members of the Marshall University football team, and unfortunately nobody survived. And this is the deadliest tragedy to have affected any sports team in the U.S. The investigation led to determine that the crash was caused by pilot error, which resulted in a uncontrolled flight into terrain. This one is a little crazy to believe, but on the 25th of August in 2010, a Phil Air L410 crashed while approaching Bandadu Airport in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This crash killed 20 out of the 21 occupants on board, and the crash was caused due to a passenger smuggling a crocodile on board that later escaped and had passengers moving towards the front of the aircraft, which shifted the center of gravity up front. So, yeah. The crocodile survived the crash, by the way. On June 17, 2002, a Lockheed C-130 Hercules suffered a structural failure while performing an aerial firefighting over Walker, California, again in the United States, resulting in a separation of both the wings from the aircraft, causing three deaths that were the three crew members on board. Incredibly, the last moments were filmed by tourists, which aided investigators to determine the root cause of the crash. It's on YouTube. I remembered when this happened, I watched it live on TV. On September 21st, 2005, JetBlue Flight 292 took off from LAX en route to New York's JFK Airport. After takeoff, the pilot could not retract the landing gear, and it was informed that the nose landing gear shifted 90 degrees from its normal position. The Airbus A320, carrying 146 passengers and crew, then had to make an emergency landing back at LAX. The incredible landing was broadcasted live around the world and the aircraft came to a safe stop on the runway. Incredible. Throughout 2007, there was a slew of incidents involving the landing gear of the Bombardier Dash 8 family, mainly the Q400 version. Between September and October 2007, Scandinavian Airlines had three separate incidents that resulted in landing gear failure. Probable cause led to poor maintenance being found and the eventual retirement of the Q400 from SAS fleet. Not related, but I'm gonna throw Bahamas Air incident of April 2007 in this as well, only because this involved a Dash 8 300, even though the probable cause is slightly different. I may do a separate video on that. Stay tuned. The deadliest lightning strike in aviation history occurred on December 24, 1971. A Lockheed L-188A Electro operated by this airline, I'm not going to say it, and carrying 92 passengers broke up in midair after being struck by lightning over the Amazon rainforest in Peru. This crash is noteworthy because against all odds, there was a sole survivor. She was able to move through the dense rainforest for 10 days until she was rescued by local lumbermen. Lanza shortly ceased operation as a result of the crash, but the lady is still living and thriving to this day. The miracle of Warsaw occurred on November 1st, 2011, which saw a lot Polish airlines, a 767-300 carrying 200 and 31 passengers and crew successfully performed an emergency belly landing when the landing gears failed to extend. All on board survived with no injury, but the aircraft was deemed a loss. Probable cause of the accident led to a hydraulic system leak shortly after takeoff from Newark, New Jersey in the United States. Again. Me saying again with the United States, I'm not saying something's happening, but 
Sticking with Lock Polish Airlines, the deadliest incident involving an illusion L62 and the deadliest aviation disaster in Polish history occurred on May 9, 1987, carrying 183 passengers and crew from Warsaw, Poland to New York's JFK Airport. The plane crashed in a nature reserve outside of Warsaw. Probable cause? A uncontained engine failure leading to an in-flight fire. On July 27, 2002, when a Ukrainian Air Force Sukhoi Su-27 crashed at Skinliv Airfield near Lviv in Ukraine, killing 77 people on the ground. The Su-27 aircraft was flown by two experienced pilots until they lost control and ejected. The aircraft then skid on the ground before exploding into a crowd of spectators. Pilot error was presumed the reason for the crash, however, the pilots still proclaim their innocence to this day. The video of the crash is widely shared online. Again, staying in Ukraine. The deadliest accident of 2006 occurred on the 22nd of August where a two-fill of 2154M operated by Polkov Air Enterprise carrying and unfortunately killing 170 passengers and crew crashed in the Donetsk Oblast. The cause of the crash was the aircraft being flown manually with excessive angles of attack causing it to stall, which transitioned into a flat spin and collision with the ground at high speed. The final moment is shared online. On July 31st, 2008, a Hawker 800 operated by East Coast Jets crashed while attempting to go around near Owatonna, Minnesota in the U.S. Carrying eight passengers and crew, the aircraft overshot the runway and its right wing impacted some approach lights before flipping upside down and coming to a rest in a cornfield, killing everybody on board. The probable cause of the accident was the pilot's decision to attempt to go around late in the landing roll with not enough runway left. And I'll end with this one. On the 22nd of May, 2020, Pakistan International Airlines Flight 8303 was scheduled to land at Karachi, Pakistan, where it crashed while making a second landing attempt. The A320 was carrying 99 passengers and crew and it was badly damaged on the first landing attempt due to the landing gears mistakenly not being extended, resulting in both engines flaming out during the go-around. The aircraft then glided into a densely populated neighborhood, just short of the runway, killing all on board, plus seven on the ground. Investigators blamed the accident on the flight crew for violating standard operating procedures and ignoring the instructions by the ATC. And I know I said that one was the last one, but honorable mentions to a United Airlines flight, which was operating a Boeing 247 that crashed near Chesterton, Indiana, where the world's first proven ACA sabotage occurred on a commercial flight. This was on October 10th, 1933. It killed all seven people on board. And that's it for now. There are plenty of accidents that I didn't mention. You can mention it in the comment section below. And I may do a second part to this video because again, there's so many to cover. Right? And like I said in the beginning, all of these accidents happened in the past so that the aviation industry can be better for the future. So with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Big link.